All right, guys, it's Ozzy Grimm with the Gamers Grimm coming back at you with another mega build here in Valheim. This time, we're going to look at one of my most ambitious and tedious builds since I started doing mega builds, and that is the Hobbit's Lake Town. It's one of my favorite towns in all of uh, the fantasy story genres, especially amongst the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings, and so I wanted very much to be able to build it and I think I got as close as I could get so much so that I didn't even bother to rename this some other thing it is just called Lake Town on my Adventure Time server and we are here to look at it I figured we'd have a bit of fun this time uh, some of the viewers said they'd really like to see big giant panoramics of the cities that I build so I built this really tall tower over in the forest and I cloaked everything in fog and so we're gonna clear it off and do a big reveal so we'll clear the environment so here we go and it should go nice and slow just so everybody can get a good look at the city of Lake Town as the fog rolls off it's pretty cool I think yeah it was a lot of fun to do this build Probably the most tedious and the most frustrating build that I've may uh, I've done so far as uh, Of course building out over the water is uh, never a good time There's always something fussing with you in the uh, north side of town there It gets a little wet sometimes out there on the ocean, but uh, we made it work. So Let's uh, let's hop down Let's do one more. Yeah, we'll do one more of those and we'll do a little We'll hop down and we'll float off of my tower that I built up. We'll run along the lake here. Here you see that's going over to the next place. Of course, here's the roads to Balderock and Tearsguard. You can see those in some of the previous builds. Uh, so on the way up there, guys, I'm going to eat real quick. Nom, nom, nom. Make sure I got plenty of uh, stamina. But anyway, Make sure that you guys like, subscribe, and share, and all that stuff. The channel is growing. I'd like to continue to grow. I really have a good time sharing some of my builds with you. We're going to be coming into town here just, just after dawn. It's a really good time to walk through this city and uh, have a good look. So we got the, the main gate, that sort of bridge that goes into town. Really enjoyed building all of this. As you can see, I... I played around with the way the build the build tool set works to get those nice tall chimneys. Uh, they're still functioning chimneys like anywhere else, but uh, most of the chimneys you see are sort of decorative. You'll see I got a little a little cubby hole there like that. That's how I let the fire smoke get out, but then continue the chimney up so that I could get that nice lake town look. But everything is built out over the water. We got some fishing docks and houses. So I wanted everything to be as cloistered and as cramped as possible to get that feel of the Hobbit's Lake Town. Uh, and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Boy, this guy really needs to water his garden, doesn't he? That's, that's not looking too good. But we've got houses out here on the stilts. So it comes out over here. Yeah, look at that. This is probably not my favorite house, but it ended up where it was at. So I just left it. Well, we got some more fishing here. Of course, it is a fishing community. We'll look in this house here, and I'll I'll try not to ramble on while I'm going through. But it was a lot of fun to build this stuff. One of the one of my favorite parts of building this city was uh, all of the verticality that I could that I got to build with. You see, a lot of these houses are uh, multiple tiers, and they have little hidden apartments up at the top just like in lake town lots of little little cubby holes where people are squirreled away and living hiding out on the lake but yeah so we got houses here some little black back alley area there so we'll come down here we'll head back through and one of the things about this city is you can kind of get lost in it it's a it's a little crazy Wow, that was a that was a nice stutter, but uh, of course we have Phil's house. Phil's garden's looking great. He's he's doing what Phil does. Got to make sure we got Phil taken care of. Of course we'll come down this road here. We'll 
we'll see a uh, another little stairway that goes up to some of these these second story upper upper rooms and apartments yeah lots of good seaside views if we come down we'll go to my house my little little house that I made for myself I believe this is it yeah this is this is my humble abode here in this fine city of Lake Town of course I got my bed there and that we got some docks people can offload and of course the, the dock authority so head up oh another house here some houses we'll go down we'll be coming through to the main trader area There's a house here of course we have turning the tides arms another in the weirding way it's a magic shop it kind of sits over everything Got lots of goodies in it of course everybody loves shore bucks got to get your cheap muck shakes uh, to give you a nice pick me up in the morning and of course here's the master's manor this was a really fun thing to build i really really wanted to do a centralized hearth with a, a wraparound so that i could have a kitchen behind it so that uh, the hearth was shared through all of the house so i managed to pull that off there's a little viewing door here we'll head out there to the to the master's like viewing gallery the, if you head down this hall he's got himself a jacuzzi and a nice little eating plat nice platform for taking in his meals and looking out over the bay so but yeah this was an interesting it's an interesting house to build got lots of how lots of rooms in it of course like any mansion should some upstairs and downstairs rooms so all wrapped around that central hearth oops i locked myself out I'll head up and see that last room it's not much to look at i think it's like a children's room with bunk beds but yeah the master's mansion it's a good time of course we have colorful waves the uh, fashion uh, fashionista of lake town come through here and buy your clothes and of course the morning's warmth bakery where you can get you some locks lox meat pies and fresh bread here's the dock authority where you got to claim all of your trade goods at and then of course you've got uh, charcuterie sundries it's a little corner store just before you head over the arch bridge and of course everybody's favorite bjorn and jorgen's ice cream because every city has a bjorn and jorgen's ice cream but of course this wouldn't be a fishing society without at least a, a fish processing plant this was kind of interesting to put together a lot of a lot of trickery with putting all my little fish tails down and then they added fish which was really nice so it was able to really make that look good but uh, yeah we'll head back this way before we go over the archway bridge we'll take a look at some of these other these other multi-story houses that I've got over here so you know I've got a got like a bunks in there and then you can head up here and if you went that way to take you back over some houses out on stilts there but yeah building all of these second story buildings with winding hidden paths and you know all sort of tied together in this sort of strange amalgam of people just doing what they got to do to survive is very very much like what Lake Town sort of represented in The Hobbit was it was a place where people took refuge so I wanted to get that sort of very claustrophobic and close feel where lots of things could go on so uh, let's now I think we're ready to yeah we're ready to head out this dock I wanted to do something with it but it won't let me build anything on it so I just I just assumed it was just a just a little hidden dock area won't let me put nothing on it i don't know why it just won't but i'm not too worried about it we are out over the ocean at this point so things can get a little weird so and here's the archway bridge this was 
a lot of measuring, a lot of scaffolding to get this to work, but it's got a lovely view of the of the port there, and then you can head out in this direction and look out to sea. Maybe come out here with your with your sweetheart on a date. That's what I thought. Of course, we'll come over here to the other side of the town, the north side of town, where things are a little bit nicer. Uh, got a couple of two stories here. And then some stilted houses. Uh, I, once I had laid down the foundation, I had to kind of figure out how I was going to build all these. And then I realized once I had gotten all of the scaffolding out on this side of the city, uh, as you'll soon see, the waves tend to come in. And uh, while it does give me this beautiful weathered effect, I think, on all the wood, it made me have to kind of rethink how I was going to do my houses. And uh, I had a lot of fun building all these stilt apartments, trying to figure out a way to keep them out of the water, even though it, it is decorative and nobody really lives here. But I wanted it to feel like these people were used to some flooding, so they... They built in such a way that they were prepared for the floods, you know. Of course, we'll go here. These are some fun little apartments that I built over here. Like they step up like this. Yeah. But, yeah, and I really was happy when they added these uh, lanterns. It was really nice to add these to the city. They make a great addition to Lake Town. They fit really well. Of course, we have the low tide end. This is where travelers would come to stay. Of course, this is where you would come to rent a room. You come over here. And of course, here's the kitchen. Overlooks the forest. You can come back through. and There's some rooms on each side. Come here and stay, though. <laughs> if you were staying here now, you'd get a little wet. <clears throat> But of course, here we got a blacksmith, and there's there's a big wave. Yeah, they like to come in over here. It uh, makes things interesting, I think. We got a blacksmith here, and then uh, got a couple more houses. These are some fun houses to build over here. Lots and lots of fun. So we'll go through, have a look. One, a couple more looks really can't think of anything else to show you guys so what I'll do is is we'll head down the road here to the south gate that heads out into the forest and towards my next build which is uh, gonna be up north here Gale Town so one of those World of Warcraft inspired builds I'm gonna try to build Goldshire or at least I'm trying to build Goldshire not going great so what we're going to do is we're going to go into fly mode and we're going to take off and give you guys some nice panoramics of the city as we, as we fly around Bring the funk back. back, back. 